Okay, this is a banded downswing. Okay, so there's two different ways to do this exercise. I leave it up to you to determine which way you want to do it. The first way, we'll go with the harder one. So for, for the righties, you're going to strap the arm or the band around your right arm. Walk out a little bit. And we're going to rotate that. Oops. Get my left arm over the band so that it's looking like this. It's kind of wrapped around me and wants me to turn. Okay, so try to get this position here. So again, I have this nice golf posture, but this band is, is wants me to pull back this way. So we don't want to pull into the backswing. I want to pull into the, the downswing. So banded downswing is going to look a little like this. I'm starting from this neutral golf position, and I want to feel like my left leg is clearing the way for this downswing to move. So I'm going to move as far as I can, and it's going to be resisting me and want to pull me back. Boom. Okay. Okay, just a resisted downswing. I'm simulating impact using my legs. Now the other way you can do this, which is a little more upper body dominant, would be to hold it almost like a golf club or pretty much like a golf club and do that same thing. We're just simulating impact. But what I want here is for you to recognize that you're not using your upper body to swing at it. All right, there's no ball there. I want to feel my lower body clear the way. And when my lower body moves, my upper body also moves, but that's what we're supposed to feel. Okay, lower body first, and then when I start to simulate impact toward my target, that's when that resistance starts to come into play. I'm pulling what would be a club into a massive lag position, which will generate power. So simulating that impact, those are the two ways to do a banded downswing.